A local five-year-old is taking the fight for her life to Capitol Hill. Nora Sproles was born with spina bifida, and she's already been through two major surgeries. New at 5, Action News Jack's Caitlin Chana shows us how proposed cuts to Medicaid funding could prevent her and thousands of other local children from receiving care. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Whoa. 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 Celebrating the little successes. Spread. Spread. Spread, spread, that's right. Nora Sproles' therapy allows her to reach new milestones. Pop it up with your thumb. From decorating cupcakes to swinging with her mom, Megan. Ding, ding, ding. We are very excited when she can do little tasks. Nora was born with spina bifida. At only five years old, she survived multiple complex procedures. What's the best thing about today? Um, that we're here for therapy. Her family tells me the smallest accomplishments are miracles. Things that are easy for a typical child, um, we praise in Nora. Um, we have to work hard at sitting up at a table and eating. Nora receives care from 10 pediatric specialists, and her, along with her parents, are hoping their story urges Congress to make sure that they safeguard Medicaid for kids. The Sproles family will head to Washington to encourage legislators not to pass proposed cuts to children's Medicaid funding. Her physicians are also in support. Healthcare professionals say chopping the budget by billions will jeopardize children's health care, their outcomes, and their future. Our purpose in going to Washington is to put a face to this issue. I know they've been crunching numbers and they've been doing it this whole session, but a family like Nora's are families that really need the help. It helps us live a daily life and give her the quality of life that we would hope for her. Reporting in Jacksonville, Caitlin Chiana, CBS 47, Action News Jax.